TS or not TS? That is the question, and depending on who you ask, they may say, Just do it! Or they may say, No! God, please, no! But really, the answer is much more complicated than that. Personally, I think you should learn TypeScript, but let me tell you why. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And before we get started, I just want to say yes, you should learn TypeScript. If that's all you came here for, bye, we'll see you later, like the video on the way out, that'd be great. But really, you probably want more of an answer than just yes or no, because depending on your situation, learning TypeScript may actually be the worst possible thing you can do right now. And the reason I say that is because you really need to have a strong and solid understanding of many concepts of JavaScript before you learn TypeScript. And that's because TypeScript is really just a souped up typed version of JavaScript. That's all it is. It allows you to use the newest features of JavaScript, and it allows you to have a type system built on top of JavaScript, which compiles down to JavaScript. So if you don't already have a strong understanding of not only the basics of JavaScript, but also some of the more intermediate and advanced concepts of JavaScript, you shouldn't even bother at all with TypeScript because trying to learn both side by side at the same time is only gonna confuse you and make things more complicated on you. So what you need to really do is focus on the concepts of JavaScript first. I have a full JavaScript course I'll link down in the description, but specifically I want you to look at the table of contents for that course, which will be linked down below. I want you to know everything in the beginner section of the course completely mastered before you even bother with TypeScript. And I even want you to learn some of the concepts in the more advanced section of the course before you bother learning TypeScript, because that'll give you a really strong and solid base. That way, instead of focusing on learning JavaScript and TypeScript side by side, you're focusing on learning just TypeScript since you already have a strong fundamental knowledge of JavaScript. So now that you already have a strong base of JavaScript, why would you even want to learn TypeScript? Because you can build everything that you can with TypeScript with just JavaScript. And the reason you'd want to learn TypeScript is because of all the amazing features that it gives you that makes building projects, especially larger projects, so much easier. They give you a type system inside of TypeScript. And type system is essentially saying that your variables have specific types. So when you create a variable, you say, hey, this variable only contains numbers, or it only contains strings, or maybe it's going to be an object that has a name and an age property that are strings and numbers, and so on. You can define exactly what each property and each variable inside of your system is. And that way, when you have a function, for example, a function called sum that takes in two numbers and you accidentally pass it a string in JavaScript, it doesn't know. It'll do some weird type coercion and make some janky output that you don't even want and you'll never even know. But in TypeScript, before you even run your code, it's going to throw an error and say, hey, you passed a string to a function that required a number. So it's really great sanity checking, especially as your code gets larger and larger, that when you make changes to things, you're realizing that you're not accidentally passing the wrong type or the wrong thing to a function or just interacting with things in the wrong way. It's going to save you from essentially shooting yourself in the foot with these different issues. Also, on top of that, since TypeScript is actually compiled down to JavaScript, you can use modern JavaScript features that aren't available in all browsers in TypeScript, and it'll compile those down so it'll work in older browsers. So you can write modern TypeScript and JavaScript code, and it'll compile down to code that works in older browsers, just like if you're using something like Babel to transpile your code to older browsers. You can do that all with just TypeScript, which is really handy because it makes your tool chain a little bit smaller since you don't have to worry about things like Babel and instead can focus mostly just on TypeScript. Now, the biggest complaint that I see most people making about TypeScript is that it actually slows you down because now instead of just writing code, you have to write your code and you have to write all your types and all this type checking and stuff is gonna slow you down since you have to make sure everything is correct. And while yes, there is some merit to that, when you first start using TypeScript, it will slow you down. You're not used to it. You're not familiar with everything. You're kind of having to double check to make sure everything's written correctly, and you're going to run into tons of bugs and errors. But the amount of time saving you're going to get in the long run is astronomical. Even on a medium sized or smaller project, if you start out with TypeScript and write your project from scratch in TypeScript, the amount of time saving you're going to get just from autocomplete alone is going to make up for the extra time it takes to write out all your different types. That doesn't even include all the time you're going to be saving fixing different bugs that come up because you didn't catch them with your type system and all those other issues that come up by just using JavaScript instead of TypeScript. So really, while upfront it may take a little bit more initial time, you're going to save so much more time, not only with fixing bugs, but also just writing your code because you have great autocomplete, you have great documentation, all that on exactly what everything does. So you don't have to really read through your code as much because your editor and TypeScript and IntelliSense are doing all that for you. Now, hopefully all these benefits of TypeScript have got you excited and trying out TypeScript, but you probably ran into issues like this. Yes, 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 come to Papa! Oh boy.
Most people, when they encounter all of these different compiler errors, they do one of two things. They immediately rip TypeScript out of their project because it's too much of a pain, or they sit through and they try to actually understand what's going on. And I urge you to be in that second group of people because the first time you hit these errors and compiler warnings, it sucks. It feels like everything is fighting against you and you're just doing things to appease the compiler without any benefit to you. But the reason that all these compiler errors are there are to help you in the future. You just don't realize that quite yet when you're writing out the code. Also, as you become more familiar with TypeScript, these different errors and bugs that you run into, you're not going to run into nearly as much because you're going to be writing your code in a way that makes sense for TypeScript, and you're going to know how to write TypeScript code so much better. This is why I almost always recommend if you're learning TypeScript, start with a brand new project. Don't take an existing project and convert it to TypeScript because that's a huge pain. You have to go through and fix a bunch of different compiler errors that pop up. Instead, start from scratch. This way, the amount of errors you run into are going to be very small. It's going to be very manageable, and you can really tweak the project and make it work exactly how you want. Also, there's a tsconfig file that you get with every TypeScript project, and in here you can configure exactly how all of the rules work. You could essentially turn off everything to make sure that TypeScript doesn't check anything and just use it like JavaScript if you wanted, or you can add on more and more compiler checks to make it even stricter to fit whatever need you have. So however strict or loose you want to be, you can configure TypeScript to be the exact way that you want it to be, which is one of the things that makes it so powerful. Most type languages like Java or C-sharp, they don't really have any configuration you can make with the type system, while TypeScript is super, super configurable, so you can make it work exactly how you want in your situation, which is a huge plus to me. Now, the last reason I want you to learn TypeScript has nothing to do with code and is entirely based on job market. More and more jobs are requiring TypeScript as TypeScript becomes more and more popular. And right now, if you learn TypeScript, it's a huge advantage. Many people don't know TypeScript, so if you know it, it's going to put you a step above many people when you're applying for jobs. But eventually, 5, 10 years from now, TypeScript is just going to be the new normal. Everyone is going to need to know TypeScript, and JavaScript just isn't going to cut it anymore. So if you never learn TypeScript and just keep pushing it off, you're going to slowly fall behind and not be as valuable to companies. So if you learn TypeScript now, it's going to put you a step ahead. And then when TypeScript becomes required, you're already going to know it. So you're not even going to have to worry about learning it like everyone else will. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you definitely need to check out this video where I talk about why Bootstrap might actually be a waste of your time. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.